We are hearing tonight from the sister of a Cherry Hill man shot and killed in a road rage incident. She's making an emotional plea for justice. Eyewitness News reporter Ross DiMatte is in Belmar tonight with the story. Ross. That's right, Yuki. I just spoke with Amber Sicanti, who is the sister of Louis Sicanti, and she tells me she can't comprehend what would make someone mad enough out on the road that they would actually shoot and kill someone. Now she's asking for help getting justice for her brother. An emotional plea for help from the sister of Louis Sicanti, the 51 year old SEPTA worker who was shot and killed on his way home from work last Monday. So I'm just asking people to do for us what we would do for you and um, not let this person get to sleep in their own bed every night because my brother doesn't get to do that. Investigators suspect Sicanti got into some kind of altercation on Passyunk Avenue in Philadelphia, and the dispute followed him all the way to Mount Ephraim, New Jersey, where investigators believe the driver of that trailing sedan shot and killed Sicanti before he crashed his car on the eastbound side of I-76. I think that you can accept someone dying in a car accident, a loved one, you know, it's, it's still horrible, but when someone takes someone's life, you know, they have no right to do that, and that is just so much worse. You know, to deal with and and you know, emotions turn to anger and you know those kinds of things that um, someone felt that they had the right to do that. Amber Sicanti describes her brother as a brilliant engineer who could fix anything with an engine. She says the whole family is feeling his loss. You know, my brother, he was you know somebody's long-term boyfriend. He's uh, you know somebody's father. He's somebody's son. You know, his dog. You know, is now missing him. Now she's calling on anyone with any information about her brother's death to come forward. Any information is helpful, and, and not just in my case, in this instance, but in any case. You know, the police need help. They need help from the public. And the Camden County Prosecutor's Office is also asking for any tips. Those can be anonymous through their tip line. And we also reached out to New Jersey State Police for an update on their investigation. We were told they won't have an update until tomorrow. We're live in Belmar, New Jersey. Ross DeMatte, CBS3 Eyewitness News. Ross, thank you.